Welcome to our lecture online. So here we're beginning to get ready to do proofs. Now this is not going to be a real proof, but we're going to use the same technique. At least it'll show us an example of how we want to approach proofs. So here we have a, an algebraic equation. It's what we call a linear equation because x is only raised to the first power. And here what we're going to do is we're going to simply solve this equation for x we're going to prove that x equals a particular value. So kind of, it's a pseudo proof. And what we're going to do on the right side is two things. We're going to describe what we're doing and then why we can actually do that. So here, we must give a valid reason why we're able to do what we just did. And that is the essential part of doing proofs, is being able to justify why we can take that step. Is there some rule, some, some proof, some um, what we call algebraic property, anything that can support the decision we made to do that. So let's try that and see what that looks like. So first I take a look at this and I want to get rid of the minus 2x on the right side. So what I can do is I can add a 2x on the right side, but of course then I have to do exactly the same thing on the left side. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we have 4x plus 8 and what I'm going to do now is add plus 2x on the left side and then that should equal 32 minus 2x and again I have to add the same thing to the right side. So what am I doing? Well I'm eliminating the minus 2x on the, on the right side so I want to eliminate 2x on the right hand side. R RHS stands for right hand side. I want to get rid of that 2x. And why can I do that? Why, what allows me to make that decision? And what allows me to make that decision is I'm going to use the, the algebraic property, the addition property of equality. In other words, the addition property of equality says that I can, if the left side equals the right side, I can add exactly the same thing to both sides and nothing should change. So we can write that down. So this is the what we call the addition property of equality. Nothing has changed. Things are still exactly the same because I used a property that I can trust. I add the same thing to both sides and nothing has changed. So when I simplify this now, I go ahead and add 4x plus 2x. That gives me 6x on the on the, left, on the left side, plus 8 is equal to 32, and the minus 2x cancels the plus 2x. So this is simply to, uh, to uh, simplify. And the reason is, why can I do that? Well, I can do that because what I did was I added common terms. So I added a 4x plus a 2x, and I added a minus 2x plus a, two, plus a 2x. So I'm allowed to do that because I added like terms. And I'm allowed to do that. Whenever terms are alike, I can simply add them or subtract them. Okay, next what I want to do is I want to get rid of the plus 8 on the left side. So what I'm going to do, 6x plus 8, I'm going to subtract an 8 from the left side. Of course, when I subtract an 8 from the left side, I must do the same on the right side. So, why? What am I doing? Well, I'm eliminating the 8 on the left side. So I eliminate the 8 on the left hand side. So LHS means on the left hand side, RHS means on the right hand side. So I'm eliminating the 8 on the left hand side. And why can I do that? What is my justification? Well, the justification is that I can use the subtraction property of equality. And what that means is, since I started out with an equation that was, that was valid, that the left side equaled the right side, I'm then allowed to subtract the exact same quantity from both sides, and the two sides will therefore still be equal. That's known as the subtraction property of equality. So then the next step is I can again simplify. 8 minus 8 is 0, so I end up with 6x is equal to 32 minus 8, which is 24. And so what I did was, again, I simplified the equation. And why am I allowed to do that? Because I added, or in this case, subtracted like terms. So I subtracted like terms. I have room there. All right. 
Finally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by the exact same thing. I'm going to divide the left side by 6, and I'm going to divide the right side by 6. Essentially, on the left side, I'm dividing the left side by the coefficient of the variable x. So why am I doing that? Again, I'm going to eliminate the coefficient of x in order to isolate x. So that was the purpose. What am I doing? I'm doing that. Why am I allowed to do that? What is my justification? Well, again, the left side equals the right side. And if that's the case, I'm allowed to divide both sides by the exact same quantity. So that's called the algebraic property of the division property of equality. Again, that means if I start out with two sides that are equal to each other, 6x equals 24, then I'm allowed to divide both sides by the exact same quantity based upon the division property of equality. And then finally, I get x is equal to 4, which is essentially what x is equal to. Now, again, this is not exactly a proof, but it looks the, the process that we used is exactly the same as the process we use for a proof. Again, we're trying to prove that this equals that, and it is true when x is equal to 4, and that would then be the pseudo-proof, but you can see that this is really what, what it amounts to, being able to explain what we're doing, and then being able to explain why we're allowed to do that, why we can do that, what is the rule, or the proof, or whatever I'm using, that allows me to make these following decisions and carry those through. And that's essentially the essence of doing proofs in geometry. And that's how it's done.